if you're looking to make a new Jack Swing track, but you're stuck with how and where do I find sounds that give it that late 80s, 90s flair, then this is the video you need to watch. In this video today, I'm gonna help you out with giving you three tips on how to find those sounds that you're looking for without buying a already pre-made drum kit. This video is specifically gonna be about the genre of New Jack Swing, but you can apply these methods to other genres of music. If you end up liking this video, I have previous videos of me making New Jack Swing and hip hop beats, so you can check those out after this video. All right, let's get into the tips. The first tip I have for finding sounds for your New Jack Swing tracks is to directly take from New Jack Swing songs that you like. Obviously there's something within that song that you really like and why not reuse that for your own track. A lot of those sounds, uh, they're either pre-existent in the gear or there were like some modifications or tinkerings or layering of sounds to get what you hear in the songs that you like. From previous videos I've uploaded before, I've taken a hi-hat or a very specific construction sound or a bell and I've included it in any other newer productions that I have. And it works. <laughs> Another tip for finding new Jack Swing sounds for your newer production is to just listen to the 12 inch singles. More specifically for drums and sound effects, listen to a dance mix if it's on the 12 inch single. And what's great about 12 inch single is that usually there's an album version, a radio version, an acapella, a street mix, a dance mix, or another remix or two. So there's a lot to pull from, from just one track that has all these different versions. And what's cool about the 12 inch singles is that you can hear in specific mixes that the drums are isolated, the, the sound effects are isolated, or you'll hear a chord, or you'll hear another pattern that you can sample from and use in your newer production. So a cool example of this is the Teddy Riley remix of Jane Child's I Don't Wanna Fall In Love. If you listen to this version of it, you can hear how one can easily get a clean sample of a kick or a snare, and you can use it in your newer production that you wanna make. My third tip for finding new Jack Swing sounds is to buy or sample a record that specifically has loops and breaks and sound effects just on it. If you're interested in some popular loops, breaks, and random sound effects, then albums like these will greatly help you in your new Jack Swing production. A lot of records like these have more use for uh, battle DJs or producers, so it's a it's a great way to use it for your new Jack Swing production. And what's really cool about these is that there are different versions and volumes of albums, and some are even specific to a certain year. This one's already given, just use the gear that you have and see pretty much like what could work, what could make your production sound different but still give it the vibe and the energy of New Jack Swing. Try layering your snares with different sounds, try adding low pass or high pass filters to your drums. A lot of times on my MPC, I'll put on the 16 steps for my hi-hats and I'll change it to tuning and I'll play different tunes of the hi-hat to just give it a different feel. If you have gear from brands who have been around for a long time, most likely you're gonna find some of those sounds that were used in New Jack Swing in the modern gear. So I have a Roland TR-8S that I use a lot for New Jack Swing and within that piece of gear, I use a lot of the bass drums, I use a lot of the construction effects, I even like the hi-hats. And I use that mainly because in New Jack Swing or around that time, producers were still using Roland TR-808s. And what I have now is a rendition of the older TR. Some of those sounds are still kind of there and even you can still add samples to it. You can still change up the sounds that already exist. All right, those are all the tips that I have for right now, but these tips are guaranteed to work for your new Jack Swing production. I prefer these methods because it forces me to open my ears and listen carefully for things that sound different and things that I think could work in my new Jack Swing production. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel and yeah, that's it for me.